Hello, I'm Dr. J for the CMZ here at the world's busiest futures exchange, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or the CME Group, if you follow them on Twitter. Here's what's going on in the markets today, folks. First of all, let me start with the broad market, of course, because still debt ceiling talks are what traders are focused on. Uh, but what you're not hearing, as Andrew points out over in the euro dollar pit right over there, is any yelling at all. Nothing. I mean, it's dead right now in the euro dollar. So in other words, they're not really reacting to what's going on here. Where are we seeing a reaction? Well, we saw a pretty big reaction as the market suddenly sold off triple digits for the Dow and about 22 points for the S&P. Right after the opening, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes into trading, bang, it hit hard. Somebody wanted to get hedged, sold an awful lot of S&P futures. As they did that, the volatility, of course, spiked. That's measured by the CBOE's VIX, V-I-X, and it went up about 10%, went to 2250-ish level, highest in, in a long time. Now, as it did that, the uh, uh, markets then pulled a 180 very quickly because all of a sudden there was rumors that Bonner was going to be, John Bonner, Boehner, was going to be speaking to the, uh, uh, doing a press conference. He walked right by the microphones, so he put it on hold for a little bit, but nonetheless, the market made a little bit of a recovery, about a 40-point recovery out of the Dow. Uh, the S&Ps made a recovery as well. S&Ps right now down 16 after being down 22, so call it a six-point recovery. NASDAQ still near the low of the day down 48 and the VIX a full point lower than the high of the day right now the VIX 2150 rather than 2250 that it hit earlier so we're looking at a gain of about six percent right now but the gain might have been 11 or more percent earlier today as far as the VIXY that's the VIXI or the VXX both of those moved up a little more than half showing you how fast the futures were moving up which is one of the things that we like to watch. Now yesterday on one of our CMZ videos we talked about uh, and we spoke with the specialist over at the CBOE about the VIX and a very large spread. 55,000 times somebody stepped up and bought the August 2750 calls, sold the 35s. So that's a seven and a half point spread obviously, seven and a half point bull call spread um, that they bought. Uh, did they buy it 55,000 times, spending basically two million dollars just as a shot? Or did they buy it to protect their portfolio? We don't know. But what we do know is they made a lot of money really fast today, nearly doubling that money on the highs very quickly, turning $2 million to $4 million. Uh, We didn't see a lot of it come off, though. So in other words, people are still thinking that with these debt uh, issues not addressed, that the VIX could still see more spikes throughout the week. We're also seeing volatility pick up in the TLT, the TBT. TLT is the 20-year uh, bond. The TBT is the inverse reaction uh, for those and keep an eye on both of those like I say volatility in those picking up so even though so many people are focused on the bond yield at 2.95 percent for the 10-year or whatever it might be that's not the metric you should be paying attention to folks you should be paying attention to the volatility or the uh, it's like a credit default swap that's kind of like the canary in the coal mine lets you know something's going on in that particular issue that there are some worries uh, going on through the market. That VIX going up in gold, VIX going up in silver, VIX going up in bonds is telling you that the markets are indeed nervous about either a ratings downgrade or the debt ceiling talks not uh, coming to some sort of conclusion this week. Another stock to talk about quickly, Dunkin' Donuts, D-N-K-N. -N. Prices at $19 a share, trades first at $25 a share, about 5 million shares hit like bang, like that. Then uh, it runs up over 27, it might have traded over 28 while we're on the air here with you. Uh, very heavy turnover, about 8 million shares already. Uh, and obviously the IPO for Dunkin' Donuts, a very big IPO, will have options on it in five trading days. I'm Dr. J from the CME Group here, the world's busiest futures exchange, reminding you, Trade Monster gets four and a half stars out of five. Make sure you check out our parent company, TradeMonster.com. I'll be back with you later. I'm Dr. J for the CMZ. Hey, bring it back, bring it back. Now double your money and make it stack. I'm on to the next one.